there? Was it like, was the drummer feel for you? And or did you stay away from the drummer while you was in there? I was the drummer when I was in there. Any nigga know when Price was in there, he was the monster. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I never, I never was happy. I, every day I woke up, I was angry because I was locked up. Nigga, you all right, cuz? Now I'm not all right, nigga. What's wrong? What the fuck you mean? What's wrong, nigga? I'm, see the fuck I got on? Same thing you got on, nigga. That's what's wrong. I'm locked up. Fuck you talking about, it. nigga? I was never. I was, a, I was a monster behind bars. That's what a cage to turn you into, an animal. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, especially when you in that motherfucker. And I became what the cage was designed to do to make me an animal, and, and uh, I was a prey. I, was, I, I, I preyed on niggas. I preyed on, uh, on bully niggas. I didn't like a bully. I didn't like nigga that tried to hog another man, and I didn't like a nigga that took nothing from nobody. And uh, there's a lot of them niggas in there. They like to hog niggas that can't help themselves. They like to bully niggas that can't protect themselves. They like to take from niggas that can't, that's too weak to take care of themselves. Well, uh, when I was locked up, I was the fucking super hero. <laughs> if I seen that going on, uh, God bless me with the size. When I was in there, I was up to like about 215 pounds, solid muscle. Uh, my whole body was a fighting machine. I, I, I worked, I worked, I turned my whole body into I knew that's what I did when I got locked up. I like to fight. I'm gonna do some scratching. That's what I do. Uh, I'm gonna protect the weak. Uh, I know everybody in jail ain't no tough guy. And I know it's a lot of niggas that's in jail that think that they some bad niggas. And they come in there and they prey on the ones that ain't tough. Well, that's where Super Percy stepped in. For some reason, that was my job. I was there to protect the weak. Uh, but the weak had to want to protect they self first. If I see that you just went over, say, because uh, I did have a special rule that nigga, uh, everybody that's in here was told before you got here to stop doing what you was doing. Say, man, you just say, you better stop doing it. You end up in the penitentiary somewhere. Oh, nigga, oh, cuz. Oh, cuz. You can't tell me now, cuz. Oh, man, fuck that old nigga. You know what you talking about. You just, man, we get money, nigga. We tell you. Then, then you end up in there. And it's yet, yeah, then you find out, damn, man. Everything that old niggas telling me come to truth. Yeah, you ain't tough, nigga. <laughs> you ain't, yeah, the part he told you, you think you ain't tougher than you thought you were. Then you meet, you find out, nigga. You ain't tougher than you thought you were. Oh, you thought you was crazy? Then they tell you you gonna meet somebody that's crazier than you. Well, there they go. Then you there. And then guess what? The sad thing about it, big homie, is it's too late. You, you there now. You done broke every rule. You done, you done worked real hard to get where you at right now. Real hard. And guess what? When they end up in there, <laughs> oh man, mama, daddy, can y'all write me? Envelopes, stamps, <laughs> commissary. <laughs> Get them off my ass. Yeah, I know it. I know it, but last week it was fuck you, mama. Fuck you, daddy. I don't care. Y'all can't tell me shit, old nigga. Don't respect your stepdaddy. Don't respect your mom. Don't respect anybody that's trying to help you. They get all the dude, the numb respect. As soon as you get up in a place where you need them, it's, it's yes, ma'am. Oh, it's I found God now. Yeah, you a lying ass. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of family, did you have family support while being Man, incarcerated? Never. Uh, never. Uh, my family would come mess with me. Man, it, the, the rules is once you're gone, nigga, you're on your own. You understand me? Once you're gone, you're on your own. And, and hell, I knew that. Uh, I knew that before I went in there. Ain't nobody gonna come over and fuck with old Eddie Kane. <laughs> nobody come to see you, Otis. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? He on it. <laughs> hey! And that's how I feel, because guess what? I was living that type of life. Um, this was my motto, in and out, in and out, in and out. Oh, I burnt up. I burnt that bridge up, bridge up right at the beginning. Because let, let, let me let y'all know, let me let y'all people out there in the world know something. To all you ladies, all you ladies that work hard every, every week, every month for your little chick, um, there's only two type of people in life. You either giving orders or you taking orders. Uh, that, uh, you either the bitch, you either pimp or you the hoe. Now, I, I can make that, I can say that again. I'm sorry that it sounds so bad. You either the pimp or you the hoe. What that is, that means you either giving orders <clears throat> or you taking orders. Them the only two people in life. You understand? You either working hard for your hard earned check, giving it to another nigga. Understand me? That's the pimp. 
Same thing about you ladies that go up there to them jailhouse and get them kids, you, get them bad chick, get them, get them me and all your hard earned money. You gotta ask yourself, huh? Are you giving orders or taking orders? You dig what I'm saying? Can't, you can't lock me up and then, you can't lock you up then lock me up with you. That's what's going on in the world today. Uh, a lot of ladies are locked up behind these niggas. And what I mean, they stand in these lines, they get these envelopes, they take care of them, they get out here and these niggas come home and rob them of their whole heart. Uh, and it'll be in that same nigga. <laughs> Six weeks after that, he back in there. What? You just, you just waited six years and then take him six weeks to end up back in there. A lot of niggas, one thing I like people to know about prison, prison don't change nobody. You gotta go in there and change yourself. Prison is not designed to change you. It's not designed to make you a better. You know, Jimmy went in there and got his GED. He went in there and got a diploma. He went in there and got this, he went in there and got that. Well, hooray, hooray for him. That means he went in there because he wanted to get there. It didn't have that to offer to him. You dig what I'm saying? It didn't offer him that. Uh, if, if you go to prison and prison was designed to get you right, where the fuck you think they gonna work <laughs> if you go home and get your life together? They not there to help you. You gotta get in there and help yourself. They just spit this, well, you know, you can go in there and get this, you can get the truck driving license, you can go, oh, y'all just make it sound like it's just the best place. You can get that in the world. <laughs> you can go down there and get that at the DPS. How about that? It sound like a better place to get it in. You dig what I'm saying? But, um, a lot of kids are finding out at the, long, at, at the last minute, at the last time that, um, hey, I can't even survive in her. Hey, yeah, don't you can't survive in her. OG person told you that. You just, you just thought you, you just thought you could. And I tell people the only, only thing about Percy, the only way I survived in there, I have something that a lot of you niggas don't got. Hmm. Until you get this, you'll never survive in there. Speaking of surviving in and, and there. That's, and that's God. Speaking of surviving in there, how was snitches dealt with? Oh, daily. They, snitches got what, it, the, the word is true. Snitches get stitches. I ain't never seen that law not passed behind bars. These niggas gonna beat you up if you tell anything. If you came in with a jacket on your back, you won't you won't be around. And say, um, it's one thing. Uh, I don't know that 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 law hasn't failed in the system yet on nobody. Now, oh no, I don't look. We don't give a fuck who you is. If you come in there with a snitch jacket on your back, nigga, you gonna be gone. Everybody gonna jump on you. The white boys, Mexicans, and the niggas. You don't, you, that's how it's gonna go down. When you come in there, say, hey man, you know, cause one thing about a snitch is, uh, when niggas get locked up, when people get locked up, uh, them are criminals. The, the criminality don't stop. Shit, they can, how the fuck you think the drugs get in the jails? How the fuck you think the cell phones get in the jail? How you think the weed, the drinks, the pills, the drugs, everything get in there? We don't need a snitch around. You hear me? Well, that's a snitch. The one thing we know, if you told it out there, shit, you gonna tell it in here. Yeah, get that bitch up out of here, he gotta go. That's a snitch, oh yeah, it's the one snitch on such. Oh yeah, he gotta go, cuz. It's too much to lose in here. He don't know what's going on. He, he didn't got comfortable to sit back and kick his heels up. And he think he back, yeah. Yeah, next thing you know, nigga put, come around and put a sheet over his motherfucking head and everybody beat him to death with a mother, yeah. Beat the brakes off of him, get him up out of here, he don't know who hit him. Yeah, he done got comfortable. That's what you do to a snitch. Cause you know what, hell, we need that shit. Cause he told that, yeah, he'll tell something else. Was it a lot of fine women working the prison? Most too? definitely. Most definitely. Um, you gotta rotate them around every motherfucking month. Get them out of here. Women, um, if you wanna keep the record clean in life, don't work in a prison or a jail. Um, women, I don't know what women, work at a ladies prison. If you really want a job, because every, you know, you got your tough butchers that take you, let me tell you a butcher, there's still a coochie between your legs. Let me tell you something about prison, ladies. Uh, I don't give a damn how much man you think you is to go in there and work in them men prison. They break them every day. That's a prison. That's every type of man you can find, every type of man you can want, you got your choice. Bitch, you look good out here tonight. See, the only thing them niggas know is they don't give a fuck what, they'll fuck a man in there. But imagine just knowing what you look like. And but you a real woman. They don't give a fuck if you coming there with a part in your goddamn head, uh, a whole motherfucking bodysuit on and standing like that. They don't give a damn. They know you still a woman. And guess what? Them niggas, them niggas know how to break a woman. Just like a woman, you like a you like a woman, 
Shit, they, they do too, but they like you right now, uh. There's some stiff women that come in that prison, they hold their head up and just come there for the nine to the five. It's hard to find. It's, it's, gonna, be a, it's gonna be a handsome, a good looking nigga off in there. One thing you know about that nigga in there, he ain't on no, no nothing. He, he, he in there, he, he gonna be there tomorrow when you get here, huh? See, <laughs> yeah, he gonna be here tomorrow when you come to work. Every time you come to work, you can't wait to go to work. And then every day you go to work, that part you didn't grow to. Look, she ain't got that part in her. Look, I know he, I know she ain't went and put no wig on. That's when we know. When them niggas done got in there and got you. Yeah. See, them, them niggas, it got ways of getting inside your ear and flipping you enough. And we call them mules.